Okay, welcome everybody to a new series. Um, I saw this game on sale on Steam and it looked pretty interesting, so I thought I'd pick it up and do a little playthrough on the channel. I don't really know too much about it, but hopefully it's good. If it's not good, you uh, probably won't be watching this right now. So if you're listening right now, this is a good game you should probably keep watching. Um, judging by the uh, what we're seeing on the title screen though, it looks a bit dark. Um, oh, you want to say hello? No? Okay, so yeah, I hope everyone out there is doing well. Hope you've had a good week. Hope you're, you know, having fun. So we'll get started with the game. Oh, this is going to be a fun beginning. Yeah, that was that's nice. Um, this interactive drama uses sim similar. It's going well so far. Similar controls to other games of its genre. Do you want to enable the tutorial? Yeah, just just in case. This game saves your progress automatically. The icon below indicates the game has been saved. Don't rip out your Ethernet cable while this symbol is displayed. All right, I'll try. Uh, you know me, I like I like a bright game. One of my many flaws, but I uh, like it a bit brighter than normal. Alright. So it's set in the 50s, I think I read. So I probably won't have any idea what's going on, but we'll do our best. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn detective? Oh gosh. I'm gonna me? rip his head off. I Ooh. swear I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Hello. Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Oh, conversation. When talking with other characters, you get to choose both your questions and answers. In some conversations, you can take all the time you need. In others, you will have to think quickly and reply before your time is up. In these occasions, you can also choose to stay silent. Alright, uh, what pictures, sir? Uh, what kind of pictures are you looking for exactly? You know which ones. Me and a lady. Two oh. days ago. Ah, curious, are you? Plenty of things you could learn through. I'm gonna kid! Okay, every now and then you'll have to act swiftly and use... The thumbstick to move in the direction of the arrow. Stay alert, you may have a very short window of time. Okie dokie. You! <laughs> oh, unlucky buddy. Oof, oof, okay. Quick time events. At certain moments during the game, you will need to quickly press the indicate button to perform spe uh, specific actions. Sometimes you'll have to keep pressing the button until the circle is complete. Okay. Give me the goddamn pictures! Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Throughout the game, you have to make decisions. Some of them will have minor consequences, like choosing whether to throw a punch or a strike with a headbutt. But be careful, some decisions will be more trans transcendent at all. Trans trans and have major impact down the line. In some cases, you will have all the time you need to make a decision. Sometimes you'll be forced to make up your time before the time is up. Headbutt, 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 headbutt. <laughs> Yeah, oh, cat headbutting a oh, rhinoceros. Oh, like a uh, Kick him in the balls. Yes. Bash his head in with a typewriter. Oh my god. He's got a gun. Shoot him. Oh man, you broke my jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, <laughs> I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please. Oh, sure. The gun didn't work. 
So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. <laughs> I've never shot a fly. And I'm no two-timer either. Oh, yeah. It only happened once, for God's sake. Oh, that's all right then. If you only cheat once, I'm just fine. a bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife. Honest to God, I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. No. The most important information you find during the investigation will be recorded in your detective notebook. When a new entry is included, a notification will pop up. That's handy. All right. Um, I actually don't know which one I'm going to choose here, so this is good. Uh, let's do... You broke your family, not me. Breaking up your family? I don't think you need my help there, buddy. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures and tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. Oh. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. Oh, what do I mean, you say? I, I, Deal? I, oh, I, For I do. as long as I could remember, oh. I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. Oh, yeah, I'll take some money. Hell yeah. While I hated his offer, it could certainly help me start anew. Run some ads in the papers, get better clients. All right. I'll tell your wife you're clean. Get the hell out of here, be <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I took a bribe. First major decision. I've, um, Fire lied to a wife that her husband is cheating on Three. her. Three. That's fine. Thank God. Two. Put that money to good use. One. Shoot him anyway. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. Free gun. First Jeez. of all, a massive headache. You're the one that headbutted a rhinoceros, bro. I don't know what to tell you there. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. <laughs> Second of all, more money than I deserved. Third, the feeling that my moral compass wasn't quite as calibrated as I thought. <clears throat> I just one bribe, it's fine. Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. <laughs> Smash the door down. Uh, he's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? Doesn't even know you, and he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jake's. Jake's right, of course. That's me to a T. Please, have a seat. <laughs> Shut up and listen, buddy. All right? I brought you a client. Uh, you can't smoke in here, ma'am. Um, oh, God. She's a smoker. I was right to try and bash her head in with a chair. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And okay, that's sorry. why we need to find him soon, or we we will have a very serious problem. Hmm. You already Thanks have a very serious problem. And Stop the smoking. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. Uh, navigate through different hotspots. Use A to select the hotspot you wish to interact with. Of course. Let's, uh, Robbie Yale, a boxer at Dunn's Gym has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Yes. Okay. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> in short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Oh. Oh. I see. Well, first of all... Uh... Well, let's be, let's be nice. I'm really sorry, Miss Dunn. Please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Uh, yes, but it won't be cheap. I will, but we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high, which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. 
Not to mention pricey. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask. Okay, so I need to find Yale. Easy peasy. Oh, a gift shop. He's cute. That cleaning lady, Miriam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body. She works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road the on the left, now? right? That's right. Okay. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, and see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. Alright, let's go solve the case. Easy, it's all our information. Okay. I'm ready to solve the case. Oh, I can't solve the case. Alright, now I can play the game. A toolbox. Hell yeah, we've got a card, guys. Only, uh... Only 99 to go. Easy. Alright, let's uh, look at these clues on the roof. Someone should weld the iron bar on those panels. Hmm. A card. Oh, hell yeah. Just take him. Is that blood? Is that blood? Looks like blood to me. Oh, gosh. Alright, alright. Any other clues up here? Has anyone seen any clues? Are you a clue? Hell yeah. They're rolling in cards. Alright, I guess we will go back down. Hopefully we haven't missed anything up there. Dang, we're... Seriously, we've got all the cards now, surely. There was only three, wasn't there? Is that a clue? Clue and a half. Can I have the card, please? Could I, could I have this card, please? Hold on. Yeah. No. Uh, footsteps. Footsteps. So where do these footsteps lead? Oh. Ooh. Is that a card? Is that a card? Card? No. Is that not a card? Oh. Hello. Good morning, sir. Ah, it's a good morning to you. Is he on Matt? John Blacksad, Private Eye. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Not at all. Proceed, Your Honor. <laughs> Have you seen anything unusual lately? Yes, indeed, kind prince. <laughs> My pretty little eyes just saw a pink elephant parade. <laughs> but naturally, I decided to join in the fun. <coughs> Pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, just like life, that was short. <laughs> but then again, all things short fit me like a sock. <laughs> it just so happens oh. that you can, apple of my eye, do this old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. Some more meth. All right. You need more meth, sir. So surely you've had enough meth. You and your meth. No, sir. I just want to. I want to take his stuff. Yes, we'll get the playing card. Easy peasy. Now let's take his meth. Hmm. Oh gosh. Alright, Sarah, I'll bring you back some meth as soon as I find some. Hello. Where am I going to get some meth? Meth, 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 I guess this video is getting demonetized. I said meth about 20 times now. Alright, you know what? Stuff the case. I'm just gone. I'm just going to leave. I guess I can't just leave. You, sir. No, sir. Sir, sir. I don't care about the funeral. Can I have the little playing card, please? Hell yeah. 
Uh, I don't care about. No, I don't care about the funeral. I don't care about the funeral. Just wanted the plane car. What is that? Is that a ghost? No. Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that. I Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! Shoot him! You looking for trouble, moron? Shoot him! You better watch it. Go yeah. to hell, man! You better not show your face around here! Not him. I'm gonna get my rhinoceros friend to uh. kick his ass. That's it. Nah, he's done. Alright, so let's interview this, uh... Waitress slash cleaner slash person who found the corpse. Maybe get some food. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. That's killer right there. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Cheeseburger. Black side. Private eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. Uh -oh. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? I only see one customer sitting at the counter. And he's asking for your cooperation. All right. Oh, damn, I thought maybe there was a cook or something that's in on it. She she coughed to tell us. Um, oh, yeah, I can... Sweet. So, yeah, can I have a case. hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? Cheese. Oh, wow. I'm I think I'll get the cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay. Next to the icon of each cat sense, here in sight and smell, a council will show the number of stimuli that can be perceived in that particular moment. The help bar on the lower part of the screen shows related controls and their function. Okay. I can see that she's here. That's always good. Her handwriting is nice and neat. <laughs> Aha, big clue. When you find a new clue, once you have enough clues, you'll be able to piece them together and make crucial deductions. Hell yeah, what do I have to zoom in on? She's got an eye. They look puffy and tired. Sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Okay, okay. so let me zoom in more. Ah, that's what I was doing. What do I smell? Ah. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. Oh, calm down. What else do I sm smell? her, uh... Oh. Perfume? Smells like... Cinnamon. Oh, no. God. Cinnamon and burgers. Whoa, that's odd. It's a rest there. She smells like burgers. Suspicious. Your burger is ready. Hell yeah. Give me my damn burger. <laughs> but I want it to burger. All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. What? <laughs> well, I might what? be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> so what, four, four, four people used the back door oh two days God. ago? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, the third person is the most suspicious in my opinion. Who was the third opinion. person to use the back door? <laughs> Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then, I heard a click. Finally, 
I heard trailing laughter in that direction. No. We should probably ask about him in order. Who was the first <laughs> person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Mm. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard. Then he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. <laughs> Do you need more meth, sir? There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. <laughs> oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. Seems you slightly less bit messed up strange than before. before. And now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, and hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. <laughs> Alright, let's use my spidey senses. I can see four things. Oh gosh. I can see I that wonder he's what blind. it's like to be blind. Would I cope? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Is there a clue here? Or am I just feeling sorry for this man? There we go. Could he have been a train conductor? Maybe. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Good That's goat, all sir. for now. Thanks. So I didn't ask her anything, so I should probably eventually go back. <laughs> but now, so these footsteps are in the white paint, so clearly this is something. Oh, I can call his wife. Hello. Black sad here. Please don't tell me my husband. Nah, he would never do that. You He's have the best. nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Black Sad. Oh, you're welcome. I don't know what Weekly is, but we'll call them. Weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly. This is John. Did you get my pictures? Yes, and that rhinoceros has one big horn. <laughs> Uh... And the girl, hot damn! You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly. Look, the rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. <laughs> Half yeah. the money is yours. Yeehaw! Okay, let's, let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard <laughs> something weird's going on at this gym. What was uh. the name? It's all good. Nothing, nothing sus here. Now we may as well call Smirnoff. Smirnoff. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? I'm just asking a simple question, Chief. Do you have any information on Joe Dunn's suicide? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. I haven't been able to assign an officer to that Joe Dunn suicide case. You haven't even heard of it. Oh, I'm doing it for fun. I don't have time for this. If you find anything relevant or start feeling a bit more talkative, give me a call. That was weird. <laughs> call him back. <laughs> it's 
tempting, tempting. Alright. We need some clues. Is this a clue? When you're good at making excuses, it's difficult to excel with anything else. Why well, is this wall coming after me? Jesus. It's a bit close to home. I haven't had a card in a little while. Success is dependent on effort. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Just want a card. Surely there's a card here. Hell yeah. Freddy at the clock, 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 clock. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? True detective never leaves home without his. Huh? Uh, sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work out a sense of that. All right, let's. We'll go get the lockpick. Just so we don't have to come back into this room again. I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. Uh -oh. Not tripping out. Where are my damn lockpicks? Police Commissioner Smirnoff smoked that cigarette. God damn, he's a smoker as well. He's guilty. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. Smells good. Tasted even better the day Smirnoff brought it. In exchange for a favor. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. Don't tell me what it was. No? Okay. Where are my lockpicks, man? Where are my damn lockpicks? Good old Weekly did a fine job with these pictures. Oh my gosh. That was an explicit photograph, Jesus Christ. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. Can I use it, please? No? Worth a shot. Uh, who's Donna Blacksad? Oh. Hi, Ray. <laughs> uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way. My dad never calls me. My grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls... Well, he does sometimes. <laughs> you, you're Uncle John. Uncle John, I guessed it. Well, Mom, he's going to be detective too. Uncle John, well, she... I guessed it. It. You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... A gun! A bang, gun? Bang, 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 Hang up on him. No, no, give him a gun. Alright, All yeah, right. we'll give him a gun. You've earned it. Bye, Uncle John! Bye, bang, Ray. I'll bang, send bang. you a gun. Where are my damn lockpicks? Sometimes... I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. That's nice. Give me my lockpicks. They're under the couch. <clears throat> no. Guess we're never getting them. All right. Oh. Oh. Bit busy. Oh <sighs> Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lock are we, are we getting At the least phone? I know these little fellows John? won't backfire. John, John, are we getting the phone, John? Oh, I'm gonna make it this time for sure. Oops, I hit the wrong one. John, John, John. Get the phone, John. Yeah, it's a bit busy, bro. Um. Uh, don't ignore me, John. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't mean to. Gig. You made a crappy impression, and now Sonia has second thoughts about you. You want to keep this job, 
then behave for Christ's sake. Oh, jeez, that was intense. Why well, didn't let me pick an option? The hell? Where the hell did you go, John? I thought you won the case. <laughs> what the hell's happening? <laughs> hey, I'm just doing my job. Next stop, Bobby Yale's place. All right. Just try to be a bit more communicative. You made a crappy impression. And now Sonia has second thoughts about it. Please don't answer the phone again, John. Run, run, run. Get your jacket again. Oh, God damn it. Alright, we have to go do some work, John. No, we're gonna leave. We need to actually do something. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lockpicks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. Oh. Alright, so that'll probably do it for episode one. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you with episode two shortly. So goodbye.